Hey everybody, it's Captain CA with another episode of Captain CA on the fly. Got a great little tip for you for Flaps Class YouTube. But first, I want to remind you about a couple things that we're doing right now on the website. One, we have my sampler bundle. This is a great little bundle that you want to get in on. It's got soft plastics, it's got a spoon, it's got two suspended baits, and two surface walking baits. This is an awesome opportunity for you to get a little taste of what we can offer from our e-commerce site. Also, we have a sun gator in this, uh, in this bundle, and we're saving you about $12, $13 on the total package. So it is a really good deal, and it's a good way to get indoctrinated to our brand. Now, let me take you over here to my boat. I want to show you these two finesse power fishing baits that will put a few more fish in your boat this summer. All right, here are the two power fishing baits I want to talk to you about. Even though they're considered finesse baits, they are power fishing baits. Now, you already know that spoons are a great power fishing bait. This is a small quarter ounce Texas teaspoon, does a great job for me. And the second is going to be the swimming trout trick. This is definitely a finesse paddle tail, but in the summertime, this can be an excellent bait. So let's break these down one at a time. So let's talk about each one of these baits individually. All right, the spoon. The spoon is a fantastic search bait and always has been and is always ranked in the top three when you're looking for fish. Now in the summertime, this Texas teaspoon, which is copper in color, is ideal because a lot of the water that you're fishing has a lot of runoff in it. So it looks somewhat tannin or tea stained color. The copper spoon does a great job in those conditions. It's finesse because it's small. It's still a small offering, but it offers a lot of flash, a little bit of vibration, and even with the swivel on there, a little bit of noise. So with off-color water, sometimes turbid, and mostly partly cloudy skies, the spoon is a great summertime lure to catch redfish, snook, and sometimes even trout in areas. So it's always one of my go-tos. I love this bait from late July all the way through August and most of September. That's when it's really rainy here in Florida. So when you're looking to maximize the number of presentations that you're going to need to catch fish, especially in tough times during the summer, the spoon is really hard to beat and this particular color is nails. Now next, let me talk about the not so obvious power fishing bait that's finesse, and that's the swim and trout trick. Now the swim and trout trick is basically a paddle tail. It's a skinny paddle tail. So this time of year, when you have a lot of floating debris in the heat of summer and you have grass die-offs, you're looking for a bait that does a good job moving through the grass, the turtle grass and whatnot. Now I headweight this with a jig head instead of Texas rigging it, trying to make it weedless because I'm burning it over the flat. I'm using this in clear, you know, clear water in most cases but there's a lot of vibration. You see all the ribs in the trout trick? It makes noise as it swims, and it's larger boot tail with the skinnier thoracic cavity, if you will, gives it a ton of action. Now the dude color has that brown, olive brown back, but it has that alabaster white body with all that pixelated glitter in it. So there is some flash. But with the rib body that makes a little bit of noise and you can add scent to it and holds it a little bit better, you can power fish with this bait by making long casts and straight cranking it right back. You're not hopping it, you're not jigging it. And I'm talking about fishing this bait in depths of one foot to three feet of water. The spoon as well, the quarter ounce spoon that we sell as well on the website. Now these baits, will allow you to cover tons of water. They do great in windy days as far as throwing across the wind. And you'll be able to make, it's not only the long casting ability, but the, but the ability just to crank it straight back. There's no hopping, there's no fluttering, there's no jigging. It's just in and then it's out and then back in over and over and over again. So 
in a typical day of fishing, you may be able to make several hundred casts. Now, if you're trying to fish a shrimp under a popping cork or something more finessey like a suspending bait, you're not going to be able to make those numbers of casts. Everyone knows in the heat of summer, fishing's a little tougher. But with these two baits covering a lot of water, I promise you, you're going to catch more fish. Of course, you got to be where the fish are, but you will catch more fish. So I hope you learned a little bit something about finesse power fishing. It is, it is a technique and it will work well. Remember, it's about the numbers. You, you almost have to take the attitude of a tournament angler when you're fishing summer heat. You've got to make lots of presentations if you're going to catch any fish at all. You can't finesse them when it's this warm. I'm talking about water temperatures that are almost 90 degrees. Well, to wrap things up, just want to remind you guys about the June giveaway. The June giveaway is almost over. We're giving away a lot of stuff. If you want to learn how to be a part of it, go to our Instagram account or go to our website at CaptainCARichardson.com. Until next time, it's Captain CAA signing off from Flats Class YouTube. Thanks for watching, everybody.